Hi everyone, thank you all for attending my talk. My name is Evan, and I work in Mercer Bunker's lab. This project was done in collaboration with Eugenio and Adrian. In this presentation, I will discuss about an order encoder strategy for adaptive image segmentation. Many of the state-of-the-art algorithms for segmentation require supervision, meaning that we have to have an image and label pair to train it. Unfortunately, manual delineation or labeling of the brain requires a set of experts, a lot of time and money. In fact, it can take up to a week to properly label a brain. Even if you manage to get enough label to train a supervised algorithm, there is a growing number of imaging protocol and different labeling convention. You have to label everything again in order to train a new algorithm that can account for those changes. Seeing how expensive it is to train in a supervised model, our objective is to introduce a method to segment the brain using one label example. We consider a data set of an MRI scan which we model as an independent sample from the same distribution. Let S denote the latent segmentation. Using Bayes' rule, we can write the probability of observing our scan as the product of image likelihood and the prior distribution of S, then sum over all possible value of S. In general, equation 1 is intractable. Instead of optimizing the equation directly, we often optimize the evidence lower bound or elbow. The KL divergence in equation 2 can be viewed as the distance between the prior and the approximate posterior. The KL divergence term can be made analytically computable. The expectation term in equation 2 is the average log likelihood of the observed data. We follow the conventional variational autoencoder framework or VAE to optimize the elbow. In this setup, the approximate posterior is computed through a neural network called encoder with parameter 5 and the image likelihood is computed through a neural network called decoder with parameter data. Typically, the representation S is chosen to be continuous random variable, such as Gaussian, for its simplicity and tractability. However, this representation is hard to interpret. In our work, we decide to map our input to a semantic meaningful representation. Therefore, a natural choice for the approximate posterior is the voxel-wise independent model. In equation 4, cat is the categorical distribution at each pixel j. In this model, the encoder assigns each voxel a unique discrete anatomical label. As for the image likelihood, we follow the convention in using additive Gaussian noise. Finally, our single label example comes into play as the prior of our model. Notice that the prior does not need to be paired to any MRI scan. Therefore, it can come from any imaging modality. The simplest prior is the spatial prior in which we assign independent label probability vector at each voxel. This can come from a probabilistic atlas or a blur segmentation from one of your subjects. We call our model segmentation autoencoder or SAE. Let's go over our architecture. We first pass our input scan into a unit in order to obtain the latent representation, which is also our segmentation. Since our latent representation is categorically distributed, we use straight through Gumbel softmax in order to sample and allow backpropagation. Finally, we pass our sample segmentation to a simple network for reconstruction. Like any autoencoder, we measure the quality of reconstruction. At the same time, our model enforces that our latent representation is similar to the prior or your single label using the KL divergence. We evaluated our algorithm in the Buckner dataset, which consists of T1 weighted MRI scans and 12 regions of interest. In total, we have 38 subjects, 30 of which were used for training, 8 for testing. Although we call it training and testing, our model did not have access to the segmentation during training as we were proposing our own supervised paradigm. We only used the prior, which is a probabilistic atlas. We repeated the experiment five times with different random subject assignment to training and testing. Here are some images from our algorithm. We can see that despite using a fixed atlas as the prior, our model can capture the white variability in the brain. On the left, we can see the reconstruction from the autoencoder and the ground truth, and on the right, we can see the predicted segmentation and the target. For a more quantitative look, we can see that if we only use a fixed atlas as prediction, we have a bad performance as shown in the baseline rule. We also have a more sophisticated baseline that uses expectation maximization to invert a probabilistic generated model. In any case, our model outperforms the baselines. In addition, we can add a neighborhood constraint to the prior using a Markov random field to improve the accuracy. We know that certain brain regions cannot be next to each other, for example, the cerebellum and the amygdala. We explain how to add this constraint in more details in our paper. Finally, our model comes close to a fully supervised algorithm. Thank you all for listening. For more experiment and implementation detail, visit our GitHub repository.